EKU men's basketball took the floor at McBray Arena last night for just the second time this month. Eastern Kentucky, coming off a win at Charleston Southern on Friday, welcomed in the Spartans of Norfolk State. This would be the sixth meeting between these two teams, with the Colonels leading the series 3-2. Home team down one early, Nick Mayo working against a double team, and with hands in his face, knocks down the jumper. And EKU would never look back. Jackson Davis is in the right place at the right time, coming up with the loose ball. He takes it down the court and lays it in. NSU trying to cut it to three, but Zach Charles is there cleaning up the kitchen. Mayo picks up the rebound, moves it ahead to Hobbs, and the freshman uses a fancy two-step to put it off the window. Eastern up a touchdown. DeAndre Dishman underneath, nice pump fake, and drops the turnaround fadeaway in the bucket to cap an 8-0 run. Colonels looking to extend their lead. Mayo with the quick pass to Davis, and he throws it down. The redshirt junior finishes with a team-high 15 points. Ensuing possession, and Tay Weaver picks a pocket for one of EKU's five steals. He would drop it back to a trailing A.J. Youngman who flips it to Mayo, who with his left hand catches, shoots, scores, and draws the foul in one smooth motion. He scores 14 points. Colonel's up 11 at halftime. Second half, Weaver a little hard off the glass, but Dishman is there for the putback. The sophomore would log a dozen. Dylan Avar was making it rain. He came off the bench, shot 50% from downtown to notch 12 points as well, and his teammates loved it. Peyton Broughton also turned in a good game. Here he is on a fast break, finishing with authority. The freshman chips in 10, and Eastern Kentucky rolls to an 83-66 victory. As a team, the Colonels shot 52% from the field and are now 4-0 at home this season. They'll lace them up again on Friday when they travel to Marshall to run with the Thundering Herd. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.